Good day, everyone. I am Marjorie Primo, and I'm here again. And last meeting, we've discussed about the cash and cash equivalents and the ethical issues regarding those cash, and uh, specifically the lapping, the kiting, and so on. So today, we will be discussing about the two system in handling petty cash fund. So first, let us define impress system. So the impress system is the internal control device for cash, which requires that all cash receipts should be deposited intact and all cash payments should be made by means of check. So big sabihin po dito sa impress system that it encourages the business entity to monitor its cash receipts. Ano? And of course, uh, through depositing it, and of course, yung mga lumalabas naman ay dapat sa pamagitan ng cheque para merong trail or meron siyang uh, tiyatawag na transaction trail. Okay? So, and of course, para naman sa mga hindi maiwasan na mga gastusin na maliliit, dito ini-establish yung tiyatawag nating petty cash fund. Kasi napaka-necessary naman Kung mag i ka pa ng cheque, kung bibili ka lang ng scotch tape para sa opisina. Tama ba? So, hindi siya okay. At unang-una, magpapabagal siya sa operasyon. Kung sa mga maliliit na gastusin, ay wala kayong panggastos na ini-establish katulad ng petty cash fund. So, in petty cash fund, usually lahat ng company ay meron po nito. Ito po yung available na certain amount sa cashier na pwede pong hugutin sa tuwing may maliliit na gastos. So dito po sa ating accounting ay meron po tayong dalawang um, fund system or petty cash fund systems. Ito po yung impress fund system at yung pangalawa ay yung fluctuating fund system. So ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba nito? Doon sa impress fund system, the petty cash expenses are recorded upon replenishment. The amount of replenishment is normally equally equal to the petty cash disbursements. Meaning po nito ay yung cash expenses, for example, yung mga lumabas na expenses, maliliit na gastusin, ay ano, nire-record kapag nire-replenish or nire-renew yung amount ano, ng petty cash fund. Ano? At syempre, kung nire-renew siya o nire-replenish siya, equal po siya sa expenses na na-incur gamit yung petty cash fund. So let's see. Unang-una, for example, we established the fund. So we have to credit here petty cash fund. So it is a kind of cash fund. Ano? So kung cash siya, so debit siya. Ano? So meron kang petty cash fund. Then, Ika-credit mo yung cash in bank kasi dun po galing yung pera na ipang-establish mo ng petty cash fund. So debit petty cash fund, kung magkano, then credit cash in bank. So for example, ang uh, i-establish na cash fund or petty cash fund ng company is 15,000. So 15,000 po yung debit and 15,000 po yung may babaw sa cash in bank. Kasi yung petty cash fund po ay hawak po yan ni cashier. Okay, on hand po yan. Okay? So next po na transaction, what if may ginastos? Hinugot yung pera doon sa petty cash. Ano, ba bumili ng scotch tape or nagpabili ng alcohol kasi biglang nawalan. Ano, eh kailangan dahil may COVID nga o di kailangan merong supply. So kapag hindi bigla na nawalan, ng alcohol, papabili yan bigla kesa hintayin pa yung request ng cheque. So, dyan, pag hinugot yung pera, hindi ka muna mag-journal entry. Kasi nga, impress fund system siya. Ano? Dito pa lang mo i-journal entry kapag nag-replenish ka. Letter C, replenishment of petty cash payments. So, magkano nga ba yung nagastos mo Ano, doon sa petty cash fund, i-credit mo yon, I-record mo yung expenses, ano, then i-credit mo yung cash in bank. With that in mind, kung magkano yung nabawas doon, halimbawa, ang nabawas mong expenses is 5,000, therefore, 
bago ko mag-replenish, 15,000 dito, 5,000 na bawas mo dito sa pangalawa, therefore, 10,000 yung balance mo. Eh, ang sabi dito sa impress fund system, equal siya yung i-replenish mong amount, equal siya sa petty cash disbursement, yung lumabas, which is your expenses. So, debit expenses, credit cash, 5,000. Therefore, magbabalik yung balance na ma-replenish into 15,000. Again, yung pera mo. Okay? Next po tayo. At the end of the accounting period, it is necessary to adjust the unreplenished expenses in order to state the correct petty cash balance as follows. So, debit ka na expenses and then credit ka ng petty cash fund. Okay? Then, for example, nag-decide yung company from 15,000, ay nag-decide siya na gawing 20,000 ng petty cash fund mo. Therefore, um, mag-i-increase ka ng 5,000 dito. So, debit ka ng petty cash fund, credit ka ng cash in bank, aside po dun sa na-replenish mo kanina. Kapag bumaba naman, syempre, babalik ka rin mo ito. So, from instead of debit ka, kung tumaas, nag-credit ka ng petty cash fund, then nag-debit ka ng cash in bank. Binalik mo yung pera na inambawas. Ano? Binawas ng amount okay? sa banko. Okay? So, punta po tayo sa pangalawa, which is the fluctuating fund system. So, petty cash expenses are immediately recorded, meaning nare-record po agad sa tuwing uhugutin yung pera doon sa petty cash fund, ano, Kapag kinuha na po, tapos may resibo ng binalik, yung bumili, i-record mo na agad yung expenses. Okay? So the amount of replenishment may be equal more or less than the petty cash disbursement. So maaring po yung amount ng replenishment mo ay equal or more than or less than your petty cash disbursements. Okay? So ano yung example po nito? So, kapag nag-establish ka, same lang, katulad ni Impress System. So, debit ka lang po ng petty cash fund, credit ka ng cash in bank. Let's just say 15,000. Ano? So, 15,000 po yan. Tapos, for example, bumili ka that time ng, ng worth 250 pesos na band paper kasi naubusan kayo sa office ano? at matatagalan pa yung pagre-request nyo ng cheque. So, kailangan na. So, nag-debit ka ng expense account like supplies. Debit supplies, credit ka ng petty cash fund. Then, after that, mag-replenish ka. Ano? So, magkano yung mga ba yung katut... Siyempre, nagre-record ka dyan during the month or during the week. Kasi within one month po, when I was an accountant, minsan ilang beses ako nagre-replenish. No? Kasi ubus na yung petty cash. No? So, normal lang po yun. Ano? So, punta po tayo, replenishment. So, magkano nga ba yung petty cash fund mo? Then, credit, in, uh, cash in bank ka po. Ano? So, ganun siya. So, at the end of the accounting period, no adjustment is necessary because the petty cash expenses are recorded outright. So, unlike naman dito kay Impress, dito sa letter D, meron siyang nire-record na debit expenses, credit, petty cash fund. Ano? And dito naman kay fluctuating fund system, hindi ka na kailangan mag-record dito. Kasi nga, ina-expense outright mo. Meaning, nire-record mo na agad yung expenses dito sa letter B. Okay? So, again, kapag may decrease naman sa fund, so debit ka na cash in bank, credit, petty cash fund. Okay? Ganun lang naman. And the uh, Ganun lang ka-simple yung petty cash fund at lalo magiging simple yan kapag naging accountant na kayo. Remember, ang gumagawa, kumahawak ng petty cash fund ay yung cashier kasi sila ang cash po student. Ikaw na accountant, ikaw lang po yung taga-establish, taga-record, at taga-replenish ng uh, petty cash fund. So more on sa recording ka. So huwag kang kakabahan na mawawala siya. Ang i-check mo, tama bang na-handle ng cashier yung petty cash fund. Okay? So, whether impress or fluctuating fund, mas ma-appreciate nyo siya kapag nasa industry na kayo. So again, that suffice our petty cash fund and we do have two systems. 
which are interest fund system and fluctuating fund system. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Stay safe and lagi natin tatandaan na para wala tayong pagsisihan sa dulo ng buhay ay kung kaya mo pa, isagad mo. Baby? Okay, thank you very much. Stay safe and have uh, a meaningful long weekend. Goodbye and God bless you.